Hello, today we're here to talk to you about the Imants Coro Field Top Maker. Uh, we're going to be going through a few things such as setting up of the machine and a few of the key features of the Field Top Maker. The purpose of the Coro Field Top Maker is to control the surface hygiene of any sports turf surface, whether it be from fully artificial, hybrid or fully natural surface. This is done by varying the rotor inside the Coro from either a brush rotor, a light scarify, or a full, re full removal. Uh, the conveyors are then used to take the problem area away up into the trailer to remove this problem from the sports turf surface. The Universe Rotor is by far the most popular option in the field top maker. This is because of its versatility to work on both hybrid and natural sports turf surfaces. You can also vary the blades inside the machine to control the aggression. The field top maker utilises PTO power from the tractor to provide rotation to the rotor. This comes from the PTO shaft through to a central gearbox and then it then comes across into a pulley system on V-belts which then provides power down to the rotor. It also utilises hydraulic flow from the tractor to control the unfolding and folding of the side conveyor and this also provides power to the belts which will take the material away into the trailer. The machine works on a three-point mounted system to couple it to the tractor with this uh, three-point system, it's always important to remember to have the top link in the middle of the float position on the machine, and this allows for movement over undulated ground. The working depth of the field top maker is controlled by these four winding handles located at each corner of the machine. These are connected directly to the rollers which take the weight of the machine. As you wind the rollers up, the rotor will work further into the ground. The working depth of all four corners is then digitally dis displayed on these digital counters here and this will operate to show the working depth of the machine. The winding handles are adjusted by first loosening the locking pin and then turning the handle until the desired depth is indicated on the gauge. So we're just now going to adjust it down to 5mm depth, so that would be the machine digging down at 5mm. Once the desired depth has been reached, you turn the locking pin and just turn it so it locks back in. The locking pin will lock in every half a millimetre in depth. Once the desired working depth has been removed for your entire sports surface, we can then set each side of the coro individually. This can be used to set one side higher than the other to create a taper around the edge of the sports surface so that the material is gradually taken away and this will leave a nice smooth finish on the edge of the sports surface instead of a step. 